And I pretend I'm in control Just like the seasons You're taking the time from me, boy what's up lovies welcome back to the channel if you're new hit that subscribe button so you be part of lock love crew i have another micro lock extension uh i guess you want to say tutorial here i'm going to try my best to explain how to use my micro lock extensions and uh, we're starting off with someone with 4c hair she has thinning on her crown and she has really thick hair all around except for her edges and her crown is pretty thin so what you want to do, I love this texture hair uh, for a C works perfectly with these extensions because as you can see, they match pretty closely. So what you want to do is get the amount of hair that matches the top of the extensions. That's super important for a seamless blend. Um, so the amount of hair that's at the top of the extension is the amount you want to part for her. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put that interlocking tool at the bottom of the, and yeah, I'm going to put the interlocking tool at the bottom of the lock and I'm going to match up where the top of the lock extension is to where the end of her hair. We're going to match those two. So when you get my actual lock extensions, you're going to feel a knot. So you want to put the ends of the hair right where that knot is. And all you're gonna do is interlock that hair in to combine it together. Y'all, I hope this makes sense because I've been doing this for a while. So when I say interlock, <laughs> I understand what interlock mean. I hope y'all understand. But I'm literally just, I'm just putting the end of that lock extension that is also attached to the lock needle through where the extension in where her hair meets so it's it, you're you're basically intertwining the hair into each other so i really hope that makes sense because i have no idea how else to explain it um but after about four or five passes because her hair is short only took about four or five passes before that extension is pretty much intertwined completely with her hair and so i'm just showing you how much of the extension is left after each time i intertwine it in and as you can see with my other hand I'm holding that I'm holding where her hair and the extension is really taut and now you can see it's, it's seamless it's very seamless because the amount of hair I use for her hair matches the extension hair that is key y'all and so right here, I'm just interlocking two, a two-point rotation and seamless, seamless. So physically, you can feel that it's still pretty soft. So what I'm going to do, all the soft points, I'm going to go ahead and just run that needle through all the soft spots. You want a tight lock. You don't want a squishy, soft kind of lock. Um, so my thing is the tighter this is with her hair and with the extension the least amount of chances that this will ever slip out so you want it to be nice and tight kind of like a rope you want it to be as tight as a really tight rope <laughs> hope that makes sense but yeah and there it is where her hair stops please tell me please tell me <laughs> so i'm going to show y'all another angle um this is the top angle i hope you can see and um this session is pretty big so i'm going to go ahead and part this section because these are micro locks oh another thing is um her hair again is thinning in in her crown area so these parts are actually bigger than the parts around her perimeter her the back of her head and her sides are super thick so those parts are pretty small but um because her hair is thin I, I had to do big parts here but it still matches the density of the extension that is key all right so i'm just threading that micro lock into the needle the crochet uh, the interlocking tool 
and right where the end of hair hair is is where I'm going to match the top of that extension it's you kind of have to feel it but I purposely kind of make it tight so that you know okay this is where the hair goes and I'm just going to keep interlocking above that that tight knot when you feel my locks you will completely understand what I'm talking about um because it's a really tight little knot and then the rest is where you attach the other person's hair So as y'all look at this, let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm thinking about teaching classes on how to do this. Now it won't it won't be no time soon because I'm I'm going to have to figure out how to how to set it up. But I've learned that even though I show you all things, it's still hard to do. Um, so I'm thinking of hosting like maybe physical classes and those classes will entail how to make the extensions and also how to install them. So if anyone is interested in that, y'all just leave it in the comments. And if I get if I get a lot of interest, I will actually try to come up with some type of class class situation. Um, cause I'm, I'm happy to, to share this knowledge with y'all and I understand that a one-on-one -on -one or a physical class might be needed. So let me know, let me know. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's pretty quick. The longest thing is having to make the extensions, but installing it is very quick. Um, I'm just interlocking two point rotation here. It's what I prefer to do. I'm going to go ahead and interlock all of these soft spots. This is something that you have to practice on your own. Like you have to actually feel this type of stuff. Um, All right, that is a seamless lock. So this is what her hair looks like after four and a half hours. Pretty much got half her head done. You can see the thinning in the, in the crown area. And this is what her hair looked like after about eight complete hours. Yes, yes, yes. She done got her 12 inches of locks. She, she is down her back. <laughs> um, she has 104 micro size locks. And it took about eight hours. So I hope y'all enjoy this. Let me know about the classes and let me know about this video. Peace.